Pink Floyd is a band that defied convention, challenged the boundaries of rock music and created sounds that were genuinely groundbreaking. Their innovative music transformed the landscape of rock, and they became one of the most significant and influential bands in the history of music. They were more than a band, they were a cultural and musical phenomenon. With this in mind, let's take a deep dive into the complex story of Pink Floyd, exploring their roots, their evolution and their legacy. The origins of Pink Floyd can be traced back to 1965, where the band was formed by Sid Barrett, Roger Waters, Richard Wright, Nick Mason, and Bob Close. As Cambridge art students and friends, they shared a deep passion for music and art and were in tune with the changing world around them. The original name of the band was the T-Set, which they soon changed to the Pink Floyd sound and, later, Pink Floyd. The band came to prominence on the London underground scene, sharing the stage with some of the most influential artists of the time. Pink Floyd's early music was heavily influenced by blues, jazz and ran B, featuring long and improvisational instrumentals. Sid Barrett's songwriting and unique, heavily distorted guitar provided the band with a signature sound that would set them apart from their contemporaries. Pink Floyd's sound began to evolve, with the band starting to incorporate electronic elements into their music, as well as experimenting with unconventional song structures. They began to use lights and other visual effects at their gigs, leading to them quickly becoming one of the most popular and sought-after bands on the underground scene. The departure of Sid Barrett in 1968 marked a significant turning point in Pink Floyd's history. Barrett left the band due to his worsening mental state, which was exacerbated by his heavy drug use. The loss of their driving creative force might have derailed a lesser band, but Pink Floyd continued to evolve their sound, now not bound by the singular vision of their former bandmate. Pink Floyd continued to create music that built upon the psychedelic experimentation of their early years. This period of their career was marked by sophisticated and structured sounds, extended experimental soundscapes, haunting harmonies, and ambitious structures, during this era, Pink Floyd released some of their most influential albums, including The Saucerful of Secrets in 1968, More and Uma Gumma in 1969, Adam Hart Mother in 1970, and Metal in 1971. They continued to experiment with new forms of electronic music and expanded on what it meant to be making pop music in an increasingly progressive world. The group's new sound proved to be incredibly popular, and Pink Floyd continued to tour heavily, playing to sell out crowds across the world. The classic period for Pink Floyd began in 1972, with the release of The Dark Side of the Moon. This album brought Pink Floyd instant mainstream success and would go on to become one of the most significant and best-selling albums of all time. With The Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd's sound became more refined and sophisticated, offering a much more immersive experience for the listener. The lyrics of each track explored universal themes such as the human condition, madness, and time. Pink Floyd's live shows were a visual revelation in their classic era. The use of lasers, smoke, and elaborate lighting techniques, as well as larger venues and installations created a more immersive experience for audiences, enhancing the hypnotic and oftentimes confounding music. During this period, Pink Floyd followed up with Wish You Were Here in 1975, Animals in 1977, and The Wall in 1979. These albums explored themes relating to society and politics, with the band developing a critical social standpoint to their lyrics throughout this era. The group's new sound proved to be incredibly popular, and Pink Floyd continued to tour heavily, playing to sell out crowds across the world. In 1985, Pink Floyd faced a crossroads when Roger Waters left the group. David Gilmour took over as the band's primary songwriter and creative force, with the band releasing two new albums, A Momentary Lapse of Reason in 1987 and The Division Bell in 1994. While these albums were a departure from Pink Floyd's earlier works, they continued to be innovative and experimental, proving that the band had retained the same sense of creative ambition that had driven them in their early days. In the years that followed, 
Pink Floyd's influence on music continued to grow, with their music being discovered by new fans all over the world. The band's legacy is far-reaching, with their music influencing countless artists, both in and outside of the rock genre. The deep, introspective nature of Pink Floyd's music has touched people on a fundamental level, and their music continues to be a source of inspiration and comfort for many. The band's legacy is further cemented in the Pink Floyd archives, with the release of countless live recordings, documentaries and interviews, as well as years of critical and adoration that have seen them inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.